I'm not opposed to medicine or doctors. I'm opposed to bad medicine and doctors that are just, well, that aren't really doctors. They're just like, they're almost just, pre they're priesthoods of the medical cult. They're priests of the medical cult. You know, they have a certificate from some training camp somewhere that says, you know, they got this test score. But that doesn't mean that they they know, like, about the human body and stuff like that. And further, they don't know really. You know, they don't. Because, I'll put it, and I'll say why. I don't think you can be a good doctor if you don't believe in creation. Why? Because, well, you have to understand the purpose of the body. You have to understand how it's supposed to function and therefore why. And both those things require a creator in order to actually properly diagnose and then fix it, right? So I think if you believe in evolution, it's basically bad doctor practice right from the beginning because, well, just give them drugs, it'll, they'll, it'll evolve, right? They'll just evolve and adapt to it. If you've seen my videos, you know, I was, a dr I was a guinea pig of the, you know, mental health pharmaceutical industry when I was a kid. Um, so, I do understand how this works pretty well. Uh, what was the topic of this video? Pharmaceuticals, vaccinations, medical industry. Uh, so for example, I'll give you an, an example of bad, bad medicine. When, uh, when my first daughter was born, I was still kind of on the plantation, uh, a bit like that. I, um, you know, I, I still thought I had to kind of like report to the government, um, willingly and, you know, very just, okay, bring the kid to the doctor. Like I was on the fence, like I didn't. I didn't want to get my kid vaccinated, but I was just like, I was afraid, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen if I said no. Um, and what happened when I said no is I got CPS calling me, but I learned, you know, just how to deal. Um, and eventually we just got off of it and, um, and that was that. None of my other, um, Mary and John both haven't had their vaccines. They, I don't think John's been sick a day in his life. He's, the kid is a little machine. Um, yeah, pretty incredible, really. Um, so, when my daughter, um, you know, I was still going to the doctor. I was following up with the doctor appointments, whatever. I, I was, I was kind of shaking the bars, but I was still doing it. And, um, the doctor measured Elizabeth's head and she said, he said, uh, oh, her, um, her head is one millimeter out of round. Her head isn't round enough. It's not the proper shape. We, uh, we need to prescribe her a head shaping helmet to bring her head back into proper alignment. And that costs about $3,500. I was like, no way, you know, no way. How ironic is this, though? I mean, like, it's kind of sick when you think about it, because didn't, like, the ancient Chinese used to do that with their heads? They would bind up their heads to make them grow elongated, or they did that with their feet. Um, different cultures did different stuff like that, and I was just like, wow, we try to pretend like we're so far advanced and beyond all that stuff, but no, not really. I got a second opinion on this whole head shape thing, and he said, no, there was no problem he can't eat. He, he the other doctor I talked to about this gave me this look like what are you crazy so yeah this guy just tried to you know peddle me something and you know he worked for one of these large health corporations 